Welcome to a new update on our engine build series. If you've been following our videos, you'll be happy to see I got a new case that looks much nicer than the old one. And if you're new to this channel, I recommend starting from the older videos. The first thing I did with my new case was to clean out the oil passages. I started out with WD-40 to show in the video how many metal shavings came out. After doing this a few times, I did a final clean with a vacuum cleaner, but ideally I would recommend doing this with an air compressor. I've been working off camera here a little bit. Um, I could not get the crank to spin properly in the junkyard case that I had. So I went and bought this new case, well, new for me, but it's 40 over. It has proper cylinder surfaces. Um, it's also full flowed and it looks insanely better. I got the crankshaft to sit properly and torqued it down and when I get it to only 5 foot pounds it already binds, it gets completely stuck. You can see I was not even done torquing, I only did 5 to 5 nuts to 5 foot pounds and it's already stuck. So I'm trying to think what other... Um, reason could be causing this and I'm thinking the dowel pins could be too long or they could be stuck and since the, I'm working with a line bore cases those 20 thousands in the other case or the 40 thousands in this one might be enough um, oversize that they're making the they're pushing on the bearing I have no idea but what I did is I still have my original case, this is my GEX engine that we traveled with and it was 80 over. So I'm stealing the little dowel pins from that one and I will compare them and see if I can visually determine a difference and if I can then I will have to either recycle these old ones or uh, grind down the new ones. I don't know, but I'm, I'm out of reasons why my crankshaft is not sitting on the case. And now I own three cases. Okay, so these two are the old, the new ones. These two are the old ones. The old ones are all under eight. The new ones are above eight. The biggest difference is 1.03 millimeters, which is 0.04 inches four hundreds of an inch instead of thousands which is what the align bore cuts so if these are four hundreds longer than these ones there's definitely a problem and i only have three of the old ones the other ones fell out or something so i will try to take two of these new ones from the kit these are from the straight out of the case hardware kit and I'm sure they're great for a new case but in my case I tried with two different align board cases from reputable shops and I just can't get them to fit so I will try grinding them down uh, or otherwise I'll have to order them and wait another week or whatever so let's see what I can do. Another thing I did before starting final assembly on the short block was to check the bearing oil holes using machinist ink. I had never used this but the process is pretty straightforward and I think it was very important because every hole was out for at least 50% so you can see on these clips I needed to do some extra grinding to allow the oil to flow properly to the crankshaft. Then I had to do a bit of grinding on the cam bearing as well. Okay, 
I just tried the new case with the camshaft and the crankshaft in it without the drive gear. Uh, put the other case half on, torqued the six main ones to 25 and a crisscross. And I was able to turn it using the pulley on this end. I was able to make it spin. It's not locking up like the other one. So I think I'm good to go. Now I'm trying to figure out the backlash on the cam. There has to be play between the that gear and the big one. I know this is not the best way to set up the dial indicator. I have the magnet stuck to the crank. I tried a clamping arm on this and realized it was not a good idea because it's marking the metal. I would not, never try this ceiling surface, but there aren't many places where you can clamp it to, so I went with a magnet and it's coming, it's moving between 90 and 80, which is right on spec and I will call it good, even though my setup is horrible. At least I checked it somehow. <laughs> 